Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Settlement reached in 909 B-17 accident case. New halo formation skydiving world record set. Cyclotech conducts first flight of Bumblebee 2.0 UAS platform. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Settlement reached in 909 B-17 accident case. On October 2, 2019, seven people perished when a World War II-era Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, dubbed 909, went down minutes after departing Windsor Locks, Connecticut's Bradley International Airport. At the time of the accident, the aircraft, then participating in the Wings of Freedom tour, was carrying 10 passengers. Prior to impact, the pilot reported issues with one of the aircraft's engines. NTSB ascribed the accident to the pilot's actions, questionable maintenance of the accident aircraft, and ineffective safety management protocols. A settlement has been reached between the downed B-17's operator, a number of the accident's six survivors, and families of the deceased, so stated attorneys representing eight of the ten passengers either killed or injured in the mishap. Attorneys for both parties stated that, quote, the Collings Foundation, Deborah A. Riddle, Craig A. Rubner, Scott Rubner, Joseph M. Roberts, Joseph Huber, Jenny Huber, Thomas Schmidt, Linda Schmidt, and Joan Mazzone announced the resolution of all claims arising out of the tragic crash of the B-17 known as 909 at Bradley International Airport on October 2, 2019. While it is our sincere hope that this resolution brings peace and closure to those affected, the Collings Foundation deeply regrets the injuries and losses suffered by the passengers and their families that day, end quote. The Wings of Freedom tour was sponsored by the Collings Foundation. Coming up after the break, multiple aircraft forced off course over Middle East. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Multiple aircraft forced off course over Middle East. Since September 15, 2023, deceptive GPS signals fraudulently transmitted from the ground have coerced upwards of 20 commercial or business aircraft overlying Iran to deviate from their planned routes. The counterfeit signals, which overrode those transmitted legitimately from GPS satellites, impeded the progress of numerous Boeing 737, 747, and 777 airliners. The majority of the 20-some instances of GPS signal spoofing, as the practice is informally called, impacted flights operating along Iraq's UMB-688, a major airway linking Europe and the Middle East. Universal Hydrogen Flight Test Campaign Proceeding Apace Universal Hydrogen has commenced a flight test and maturation campaign germane to its hydrogen fuel cell aeropropulsion scheme. On the morning of March 2, 2023, Universal Hydrogen flew its Lightning McLean test aircraft, an extensively modified de Havilland-8300 regional airliner, under partial hydrogen fuel cell propulsion. The test aircraft lifted off from central Washington State's Grant County International Airport at 8.14 PST and flew for 15 minutes, reaching an altitude of 3,500 feet MSL. Boeing to pay $8.1 million to settle false claims allegations. Boeing has agreed to pay $8.1 million to settle federal allegations, setting forth the company submitted false claims and made false statements pertaining to the construction of V-22 Osprey tilt-rotor aircraft the Arlington, Virginia-based company builds for the U.S. Navy. 
The government contended Boeing, during an 11-year period spanning 2007 through 2018, failed to conduct contractually mandated monthly tests on autoclaves utilized in the curing of the composite materials integral to the V-22s built at the company's Ridley Park, Pennsylvania facility. U.S. Coast Guard executes successful Atlantic medevac mission. On Monday, October 2, 2023, personnel of the Coast Guard medevaced a 50-year-old man from a 302-foot vessel then located approximately 80 statute miles offshore of Alabama's Dauphin Island. Coast Guard Sector Mobile watchstanders received a call from the captain of the vessel who requested medical evacuation of a crew member experiencing possible cardiac symptoms. Watchstanders coordinated the launches of a Coast Guard Aviation Training Center HC-144 Ocean Sentry Airplane and a Coast Guard Air Station New Orleans MH-60 Jayhawk Helicopter. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. New Halo Formation Skydiving World Record Set The Alpha 5 Project has successfully set a new world record for highest high-altitude, low-opening, or Halo Formation Skydive. By way of definition, Operator Solutions is a search and rescue concern serving the commercial spaceflight and private sectors. Larry Connor, in addition to having been the pilot of 2022's Axiom Space Mission 1 to the ISS, is the founder and managing partner of the Connor Group real estate firm. The Alpha 5 project, while instantiated by the world record-setting Halo Formation Skydive, is a mission undertaken for a purpose of highlighting the remarkable work carried out by the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. An organization providing educational opportunities to the children of all Medal of Honor recipients, as well as those of U.S. military personnel killed in the line of duty. The Alpha 5 project aspires to raise $1 million for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. The five jumpers, by whom the record setting skydive was made, departed the New Mexico Military Institute's stop parade ground, ascending via the largest lighter than air balloon yet manufactured in the U.S. Reaching flight level 380, the jumpers exited the balloon and linked arms in a five-person formation before separating and landing roughly 12 nautical miles east-southeast of the launch site. An official observer from Guinness World Records was on site to validate the jump. And after these messages, Cyclotech conducts first flight of Bumblebee 2.0 UAS platform. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Cyclotech conducts first flight of Bumblebee 2.0 UAS platform. Cyclotech has released video footage of the first flight of the company's Bumblebee 2.0 concept aircraft. The flight showcased the machine's unusual configuration, which features four CR-42 cyclorotors and an advanced flight control system. The commencement of the Bumblebee 2.0's platform flight testing campaign speaks to the ongoing evolution of Cyclotech's unique aeropropulsion scheme. Broadly, a cyclorotor is the fluid propulsion device that converts shaft power into the acceleration of a fluid by means of a rotating axis perpendicular to the direction of fluid motion. Known also as cycloidal rotors, cycloidal propellers, or cyclogyros, cyclorotors comprise blades characterized by spanwise axes parallel to their axes of rotation and perpendicular to the direction of fluid motion. Subject blades are cyclically pitched twice per revolution to produce force, thrust, or lift in any direction normal to their axes of rotation. Aircraft powered by cyclorotors are capable of changing the magnitude and direction of produced thrust in the absence of tilting structures. Over the coming months, Cyclotech intends to comprehensively demonstrate the capabilities of its 360-degree thrust vectoring cyclorotors, 
which are based on a 100-year-old design and challenge conventional propulsion architectures. For a purpose of demonstrating the stability, maneuverability, and efficiency inherent cyclorotors, Cyclotech will systematically expand the flight envelope of its Bumblebee 2.0 platform. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.